Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Freight Torn. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Stranded, Ellie and Dawn on the PlayStation 5. So that's right, guys. We found dogs. A dog. Uh, so I think it's interesting that they all have different breeds. Yeah, like mine have got Weimaraners and Great Danes. So we got some boxers. I'm wondering if they have like different stats based on their breed. I don't know. I haven't noticed anything different. But basically, we've got to tame both of these dogs, guys. So that's priority. Uh, also, this is what we need for the silicones. So I didn't know. Jinx knew, but I didn't know. So we need to we need to harvest these, but they're not ready, unfortunately. Are any of them? I don't think so. I'd select them all and see if any are ready for... Oh, yeah, looks like maybe not. Yeah, I don't think we've ever harvested them. I think it's because it's winter. Probably. It seems like during winter, just nothing is, is harvestable, which makes sense. It's just not growing the way it's supposed to. However, these might be... No. Almost one of them is. They might be soon now that the ash is done. Yeah. Because I think those do still grow in the winter. So yeah, we'll, we'll focus on the dogs, but yeah, we need to we need to get all this stuff harvested. Uh, but not having the silicone is an unfortunate. Probably wouldn't hurt to do some more salvaging of those all those crashes around you. Yeah, true. There could be some good stuff in there. And are we still working on this? It looks like we've gotten all the stuff that we need here, or we only needed twenty or something. Maybe I only set it to only yeah, do twenty. Yeah, I increased mine to a hundred. Yeah, let's do until... Let's do it into uh, 100, I think. Though... We'll definitely need more salvage. Yeah, we'll need more, more scrap. scrap. So we could set that up. Uh, there's one really nearby here, so... Let's scavenge. And you know, we find other really useful and good stuff in there as well. So just get our people doing all this, all this stuff. we got plenty of things for people to do right now. And uh, it should be either Laura or Krista. Probably Laura. No, yep. yep. Going Laura's, to get the doggy. Laura's going to get the dog. So you're bogey. But Laura's doing... Just kind of transitioning from light to, yeah, to dark kind of strangely, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we actually had a trophy for getting a dog here. So we need to lead it, but it's not quite done yet you gotta rub the belly first yeah belly's gotta be loved uh love done so let's go ahead and have it led into our camp somebody will take care of that i imagine laura will leave <laughs> she'll go to sit down that's great come on laura come on come lead the boxer so we'll have her do that first. I mean, she's walking back anyways. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, so yeah, we have succeeded in taming our first dog, guys. You'll be sure and want to uh, check the train so that they can train the animal. Because it, for de it defaults is not allowing anybody to train it. Can we even train it? I thought we had to have like certain tech to, to train. I think your farming has to, yeah, it says right there that your farming has to be higher. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was a tech or something you had to get. Maybe that's other animals or something. I'm not sure. I'm surprised we haven't had, uh, still haven't had the baby yet. I'm just wondering how long it takes. Seems like those cows stay pregnant forever. Yeah, for a really long time. Of course you're going to die look pooping how, in your bed. Look at how much bigger Bruno is. Jeez. Yeah, why are they... Well, maybe she's going into labor. Yeah, she got up in the middle of the night. She's like, oh. Yeah, just got up to eat some grass. Gotta poop. Our snowmen are melting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, she, she did, did go you know. into labor. We missed it. <laughs> Where's the baby? It's right there. Oh, is this the baby right here? <laughs> it went right to eat. Popped right out. Came out to eat. Oh. All right, so we see the growth there. They're eating together. It's a female. So we need to name it. You gotta come up with a name for our baby, Olfen. Taming was interrupted. Wonder what by. Not entirely sure. I think Laura oh. just took off to go to sleep. She's like, I'm tired. Um, no. Taming failed. Oh, okay. She failed at it. Maybe because she was sleepy. 
Uh, so she dropped the meat and then the bug ate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. I don't know, because yeah, it says it was interrupted. Maybe by the fallen debris? Yeah, maybe she got scared or something. I don't know, that's way over here though. It's probably not. I could have crushed all these cows. Yeah, people were all worried we wouldn't have cows to eat, but <laughs> there are plenty They're of cows everywhere. They're everywhere. Uh, so this is what I had our our characters here research incendiary traps, guys. Now, given alloys is uh, something we're still kind of short on right now, but that seems cool, right? Some landmines. Yeah. Explosions. Probably not going to want those right by the fence. I mean, that makes sense. I don't know how uh, explosive they are. I don't either. I, don't, I haven't used them. I assume we can't set them off because that's generally how it seems to work. Yeah, that would be terrible. Like, so, watch out, guys. Just, like, set a couple out here and just see how, like, how powerful they are. Yeah. I assume they're not, like, really powerful. But. I mean, you would think, but that's kind of close for an experimentation. But something's got to, we got to have something hit it, though. <laughs> that's true. Okay, <laughs> build a bunch of them. I don't want to build a bunch. I just want one. So we're just going to put one right now just to see how large the explosions are. I assume they're not very large, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Quinn went right to that. He's excited. He's like, oh, He's excited yeah. to blow something up. We hear our dog barking. He's being oh, trained. Being trained by Krista. Because she's also, I mean, she's a copy of Laura. And we got a fur cap. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and have whoever's coldest right now. Which it was Krista, though I did have her put a, a jacket on. Or a coat. She had a jacket on. She's still the coldest, though, it seems. So she clearly... Smell. She's the one we should have wear this. She's super happy, though. Uh, is it not, like, considered... Yeah, I don't think they've put it away yet. Yeah, here we go. Fur cap. Go get the fur cap. Why is there just wine sitting on the ground? What the hell is going on, people? Yeah. Just wine sitting on the ground. They're making a mess. <laughs> oh, no. The dog is starving. Oh, yeah. Do we not have... We haven't set up a bed for him or a mm -hmm. feeding station. Yeah. Okay. He needs meat. Yep, he needs his own stuff. Oh, that's what I use bug meat for. I feed the bug meat to the dogs. To the dogs. That makes sense. Um, so, does he need, like, a shed? Do you give him a shed or do you just I put him a spot? I give him a shed. He's got to stay warm. <laughs> just like a little stick shed somewhere. This thing is mm -hmm. huge, though. Yeah, but you can fit like four dogs in there. Still, though, seems... Got the whole pack. Ridiculously Nothing large. Nothing but the James. best for my poochies. <laughs> it just seems really large. I'm going to put a heater out there for him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to know where to put it. You just put it out is... there with the cows. I don't want to put it with the cows. You can put it outside the fence. I'm not putting the dogs outside the fence, Jinx. What's then wrong just with you? Throw a bed on the ground. Yeah, they've there. got fur. I'm sure they'll stay warm. I mean, it was living outside. Okay, but now it's a spoiled, pampered poop. <laughs> put it next to the meat. That sounds <laughs> like a good idea. Uh, let's have it go. I don't know. I just feel like it needs to be close to the house. Sure, just next to the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put it like right here, right where he's at already. So put it there, uh, but we still need the animal feeder. Uh, so we're looking for, just do another wooden one, I guess, and then put some meat in there. And so maybe just put it right here. Pooch just lives right next to the house here. So we'll get all that done. Come do this, somebody, now, priorities. And no, don't do that. Come over here and construct this. Oh, Quinn's already constructed it. Never mind. He said, I'm on it. Our dog's over here starving to death. He's gonna die. I think we'll be okay. But <laughs> having my own bedroom here is a treat. <laughs> she doesn't have her own bedroom. Well, she thinks she does. And it's fine, but... Alright, so now we need to set this up to have meat. So, raw insect meat? Yeah, that works fine. He'll eat that and he'll love it. Oops. Damn it. <laughs> you do that. I meant to close that. And then, yeah, we don't want the herbivore meat on there. And we don't even make slop, so. 
All right, so if they get some meat onto that, then he'll have some food to eat. Get you some grub, puppers. There we go. So he'll no longer be starving. Excellent. Everybody's just hungry. idle. All right, so we need to give him something to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the construction, guys, uh, that we were planning on doing here. Go ahead and extend out our place a bit. So we'll just keep doing things the way we've been doing it with the stone flooring. Obviously, we wanted to fit with the rest of the house. So it looks like we have new stuff here. Maybe not. Okay, I thought we had something new here. We don't. All right, so we're going to want this to extend out, I don't know, probably pretty far. Like so, maybe. What all are you trying to add on there? Bunch of stuff. I Bunch mean, of stuff. yeah. I mean, how lar large do we have the, the bedrooms right now? I think they're four by five. No, I don't think they're that big. I think it's three, actually. Yeah, there's oh. only three there. So if we wanted the bedroom to be the same size here, then it would just be like that. But that's not going to be wide enough for what I want to. You know, we're going to put a. We're going to attach it here. Hmm. What do you mean you're idle? You got <laughs> stuff to build. Do we not have stone? We got stone. Move stuff. It's like, that's okay. <laughs> Lazy I don't people. feel like it. Move things. And then we got this being scavenged. Looks like Chris is doing the scavenging. Did nobody go tame this animal out here? Yeah, the dog. Yeah. He's just out there all alone. Oh, you got to set it back up. I see. So somebody will go out there and tame the dog. So now Connor's doing the scavenging. Chris is transporting whatever she ended up finding there. Can't tell based on the icon. Looks like some scrap. Just some scrap metal. Okay. So we'll see if we find anything like really good out there. We could also send somebody on another voyage, I suppose. Everybody currently sleeping though, so Connor's trying to get this food cooked. <laughs> he just cooked up a little something for himself. Yeah, he just makes himself a pie and then goes right back to bed. I mean, I guess we got the butter and the buttermelon pie and the, the meats too, so there's something in there at least. A new insect nest. Ew. Let's make sure that's not too close. It looks really far away. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, that is real far. Yeah. So it's really not an issue for us. So we need to worry about it. Uh, we never did name the uh, the new calf yet. So what are you thinking? Oh, the dog went and left. Oh it. wow. <laughs> uh, Poor Bruno. But I guess we need more beds. We need more beds over here. Yeah. One for the baby. I guess one for Bruno. But yeah, the reason why I don't want to put the dog thing over here is because I was going to put there. I was going to extend this. Yeah. Does it uh, kind of connect real nice? It does. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need to move this, basically, because this will be in the way. Uh, but I don't think it can just be moved. We'll no. have to copy it and then put one over here, I suppose. So we'll do that, and then once that's gone, then we can just get rid of it. Deconstruct. I don't know if that'll leave a hole, probably. We'll have to fix it. I don't know. Maybe not, though. We'll find out. All right, so that's getting done, and then we'll want to deconstruct that. So we can extend this out. Because, yeah, I plan on having a, a good little herd of cows here. Yeah, I would set the bed ownership, too, so that the dog sleeps in his own bed. Yeah, that would be wise. Um, so this is going to be Bruno, because he chooses to sleep in there anyways. And then this would be Daisy. And then uh, we need to name. Oh, yeah. Uh, we haven't named the dog, either. No, we haven't. Mm-hmm. So what so are we going to name? Male or female? The, the dog is, let's just see here, a male. Uh, Kratos. Kratos. That's, <laughs> isn't that what you named your? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, you ain't got to. I don't have a sense. problem with Kratos. I just think it's funny that we're naming animals <laughs> the same yeah. thing on our two games here. Uh, so that's Kratos and... That's... I don't feel like being original right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Kratos' bed. We still haven't named the baby calf though yet, Jinx. How about burger? Burger? Yeah. Because we're going to turn it into a burger? Yeah. Wow, Jinx. 
Wow. That is original. <laughs> <laughs> Are we turning their baby into a burger? Is that the plan here? Probably. So we need to close this up. So that nothing gets in here. And then once that's done and this is picked up, I don't know who we're going to have to do that. Looks like Ember's taking care of it for us. Oh, that wasn't constructed yet. Okay, so she's doing that. Then she'll do that. Nope, nope, she'll pick that up. So Quinn's doing that. Teamwork. There we go. All right, so now let's go into the ranching and go like so. Get that constructed next. So we have this out here. Um, so now we need to figure out what we're going to do next here. All right, so we need to, we clearly need to extend this out. The question is, should I extend this part too, or just this part? So if we extend this part, then that would mean that the room's gonna be bigger, or we're making space for another room in case we find another survivor. I suppose there's that. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep all the rooms the same size. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Keep all the rooms the same size, but we will extend this side out. And let's just build another room in preparation for another survivor. You can't be playing favorites and giving certain people Yeah, that's what rooms. I was worried about. Yeah, somebody's going to get a bigger room. So let's just build it out another three. And that would be the other room. And then that's large enough, I feel. And then at that point, we can start doing the walls. We got the other dog. She'll nice. probably grab her before she tries to walk off without it. Yeah, she will. Okay, so let's grab the other dog. And this is a female. All right, oh, so that nice. worked out nicely. Uh, so let's go ahead and have her be led inside, which we need to give her a bed as well. So she'll get led in by, was it Laura that, nope, it was Krista. Okay, so let's have Krista lead the boxer. And then can't figure out where her house is. What's this? Oh, that's that silicone. Oh. Are those other plants ready to harvest yet? Which ones? The what? ones that we looked at before? Yeah, that were over on the other Probably side. Probably not. The ditch. I assume not. No. Yeah, they're just not growing. I just think it's because of wintertime, Jinx. Yeah, I'm pretty maybe. sure. I mean, some of them seem like they're less, less harvestable. I mean, it says that it's still growing. Yeah, maybe. Just taking time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we need a bed for the other dog. Maybe I should put the dogs on the side of the house because there's more space over here. Instead of up here in the front. Well, you could put one in the front and then one in the side. Started. I didn't know they row of beds. wanted to sleep together. Sleep next to each other. Yeah, maybe. Just thought they would want to. Alright, so this will be the other dog's spot here. So that'll get constructed. So yeah, we have a lot of things for our people to do right now. A lot of stuff for them to construct. I'm sure they're excited about all that. How far did we go on this? Well, we still got a lot of work to do. On the scavenging there? Uh, we can get rid of some of this here. And yeah, this is just their food that's rotting. It's fine. Uh, so we're lacking stone, it looks like. Okay. So somebody's... Gotta go with mining. Oh, they love mining. They love mining. We know that. I'm looking to see if there's any more rocks out here. And it does seem that there are. Uh, at least a little bit here. So let's go ahead and have are them mine up. That don't require them to go so far in. I mean, I don't think so. I think we got all that already. Mm. Yeah, we already got all that. So we have to get... You know, let me do this again. So we're going to have to get all that mined. Probably more than they need to mine. That's going to piss uh, Connor off. He's not going to be happy about it. He's like, don't you see I'm trying to cook here? I'm trying to make sure we got food at all times. <laughs> These people be eating it up. <laughs> Can't seem to get it cooked. Like he's at a risk of meltdown. Just the idea that he's going to have to go mine is enough <laughs> to send him into a meltdown. <laughs> understand Connor I get it it's rough man I know crystal of the dog back does anybody else mine 
Is it, that's what the problem here is. Let's just take a look. Like it seems like he's fair. always the one that does all the work. Yeah. Let's just take a look at what's going on here. So yeah, he's set the two. I mean, these other ones can mine. I mean, Ember is almost as good as Connor at physical stuff. Yeah. I would put her at two, too. Yeah, time for her to start helping out here with the cuttings and the minings. Because Connor ends up doing all that. Because he's set to, to two and she's not. Ember is my workhorse. Yeah, she does everything for you, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, is this done here? Yeah, this is done. So we can go ahead and get a bed for the baby. Oh, the what's the baby. tamed animals thing? Oh, that's interesting. So you set, like, if they are allowed to be healed, if they're allowed to be trained or pet, why would you not want them to pet them? They don't pet the food. <laughs> and set them up to, to slot them as well. And you can see like how happy they are, which I'm guessing this one, the the baby's not happy because first of all, it doesn't even have a name and <laughs> doesn't have a bed. His name is Burger. Okay. We'll call, well, I just feel like, are we really going to eat it? Well, regardless, his <laughs> name is Burger. <laughs> all right, his name is Burger. All right. And we can name the other dog too. Oh yeah. We got another dog to name. Uh, the, what, are, what are we gonna name the other dog? Um, this is a female. Is that a good name for a female? Yeah. Burger. Burger. <laughs> and we want this one right here. Can name the other dog Boudica. I'm going with the bees now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's this one here. Rename. the bed assigned as well Got all right so hopefully hopefully you got enough bug meat right now we're good but we might need to kill some more bugs we'll have plenty and i was raising those or bug burger. looking critter the hammerhead looking guys mm -hmm. thinking that they were bugs but they're meaty oh these things are yeah they have meat i didn't realize that it just says a flathead animal. Oh, we haven't observed it yet. Oh. I've got those all over the place. We'll observe that then. They just keep breeding. <laughs> we get to know it a little bit better. So we're going to keep running our people really busy, guys. They're going to get all sad. Mm-hmm. When my people get all sad, I'm just like, go ahead and have your meltdown. Uh -oh. Aggressive animals, guys. And they're not far away. Yeah, we got some little scorpion things mm. and the big old giant beetles. Yeah. Okay. That's and it, harsh. Yeah, and again, they're not far. Yeah, that's not far at all, dang. Nope. They, they, they always spawn really close to us. We'll wait to recruit them up until they actually are attacking. I want them to hit the mine. You know what? Actually, <laughs> we need another mine real quick. I don't think we'll get it set up. They're going to get blown up while they're set in the mine. <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> now we know they're going to come from that side. So I assume they'll come from like, maybe they'll hit that. I don't know. How, you'd think they don't have to be that close, right? What if we just did like a long, well, I'm worried about I don't know. I think up. they have to be specifically on Maybe. We'll see if we can't get that constructed real quick. Probably not. They'll probably attack before we can get that done. Uh, let's go and assign this to Burger. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of critters now. So Connor scavenging. We're not gonna get that set up in time. Yeah, you Is there have anybody? To tell specifically. Yeah, Connor, come here. Can he do this? Can he do this all right? Construct those. Oh, oh it's already reserved. Oh uh, well. Okay, hold up. I shouldn't have messed with that. You keep on scavenging. But I think we'll have to now assign her to do this. And we don't want her going all the way down there anyway. When this attack happens. Yeah, to go mining. Yeah. And they'd probably attack her over there anyways. Probably. But yeah, we're going to need her over here for when the attack happens. And those are the Draco, right? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, some interesting information. You can tame them. 
And they're, and they're very herbivores. nice. Can defend itself with its claws. We don't have any research going right now. I guess we can. Oh, we're Here being attacked. They come. Although only by the. Uh, no, it just separated them for whatever, uh, okay. and then grouped them together. So they're coming now. So did we get these? We did not get those set up yet. Figures. Damn it. All right, so those won't get done. You better get everybody grouped up. So let's just cancel. We got this, Jinx. I ain't worried about it. Okay. We got this. Sure. <laughs> They're running as fast as their little legs will take them. And let's go ahead and get everybody drafted. And then get them set up to their locations. Uh, so we're going to have Connor right here. Ember will go over here. And then everybody else is going to just be inside shooting at them if they happen to come inside. So then we'll have Quinn right here. And then Laura will come on over to here. Okay. Everybody run. So everybody should be running. Getting into place to defend the crib. Yeah, see, we had plenty enough time, Jinx. It's just a bummer we didn't get the... Well, Krista might not have enough Krista's time. not going to make it. <laughs> Why don't you go around that way instead of... Whatever. She made it, Jinx. She got scared. She didn't know what to do. Look at Con Connor got a plus 20 for being in combat. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's excited about this. Get some. Yep, interested in combat, plus 20. <laughs> He's ecstatic about this. Why is he not shooting? Yeah. He's like, oh, I just want to look at him. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're killing these ones already. Are scorpions? Taking oh, longer to get over here. Yeah, they're slower. Like, my butt's big. Takes me a while. The gate got damaged. Hmm. Did the flamethrower set it on fire? It could, but the bug might have attacked it too. Maybe. Didn't have a reason to attack it though. You know, just bit it out of spite. <laughs> yeah, bits. I feel like the flamethrower is messing it up, man. I don't know. So we're just waiting for the last one there. There's Graggler. There we go. Alright. So easy peasy, guys. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and set them up to, because we actually have a use for the, the meat now. So we'll set them up to butcher all of the meat. There we go. Hopefully a dog didn't get caught up in that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll get all that. Uh, we'll get the traps handled, of course. But yeah, nobody stepped on the mine. <laughs> <laughs> so we never saw like not one critter. the explosion. Again, the, the the combat, I know that it gets harder, and I've seen that the hordes for you are fairly large. You used to be fighting like 50 bugs and stuff. Yeah. But uh, so far the combat hasn't been that difficult yet. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad. Why are you eating that, Krista? I told you guys not to eat that. Oh, wow. Krista was never set up to not eat that. She's like, I eat what I want. So I bet she still eats raw food, too. Yep. <laughs> so we didn't set any of that up. Like a dummy. Nobody walked her around the house and gave her the ground rules. Oops. <laughs> like, if you're going to live here, you're not going to eat the emergency rations. Yeah, we're keeping that. You're going to eat your vegetables, damn it. So she's been eating our emergency rations. She's ate quite a few since we've been here. We had like 30-something. So that's all she's probably been eating. Just snacking on all the emergency rations. Wow, Krista. Wow, wow, wow. Intimidated Ember. Oh, look at you, Connor. <laughs> so cool. He Intimidated is so cool. Wow. Anyways, so yeah, he's these guys are always fighting with each other. Wonder if we shouldn't set it up to have them do Well, I guess there's there's enough here. I never see him make the bread. Maybe it gets eaten immediately, I don't know. Yeah, or I, I guess it would probably help if you prioritized it higher. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much to me which one's yeah. like. Yeah. Which one gives you more happiness? 
the pie or the bread. They're Not all the same. Yeah, they're all the plus twelve, so. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But the pie will eventually run out. Because we only have so many of those melons. Mm hmm. So eventually they'll stop making those because we just don't have the melons. We got 35 melons remaining. We have enough for 182 mils, apparently. Alright, so all this meat out here is being butchered by Ember and Connor. So they're taking care of that for us. So we'll have plenty of bug meat to be placed here for the dogs. And Kratos is just... Do they do anything? Or do they um, just kind of stand they around? They just kind of stand around waiting to be pet. And I'm waiting for food. Thin smoke. A streak of thin smoke is snaking on the horizon. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so Laura is currently eating. We'll let her finish. Is she going to get another meal? <laughs> Is she gonna cook or something? Maybe. Does she Laura ate, cook? So she's gonna cook too. Well, I guess we do have first set to cooking, don't we? Mm -hmm. It's not as uh, high of a priority. But yeah, somebody else needs to do some damn cooking around here. Connor can't do everything. Well, okay, Laura. So she'll take care of that. I was gonna send her out on the expedition, but everybody's so busy right now. Yeah. Maybe expeditions aren't the best thing to do right now. So everybody's Ember's going out mining. What you're supposed to do. There you go, Ember get some of that that mining all right so yeah we'll get the mining done looks like we're again out of uh space i suppose it's not not surprising we never have storage enough storage space yeah i guess you have all those shelves yeah what we could do is move hmm yeah i guess move this this is what we're gonna do. So let's go into here and have, although we should be specific, emergency rations be placed on that one and then take the emergency rations off this one and then only like allow crafting. the crafting materials yeah. on there, yeah. That should clear up some space here. Cause yeah, we have this, we got a lot of space for food. I mean, these are all, this is all food here. Yeah, so. all that grain. <laughs> yeah, we got so much grain. Uh, because it's a big old field, a big old grain field. It was too large. So we'll be decreasing the size of that once we get into the spring. And then, like, doing some different crops. But yeah, we're still waiting on stones to get this finished here. Ember, what are you doing? Why are you eating that? <laughs> what is going on here? Why are people eating the, uh... I need to re... Huh. Is it an emergency? No, I feel like... Something happened. Something happened here. Did Ember never get set to not eat them? I feel like she did. She reset herself. She said, I'll eat what I damn well please, thank you. Huh. Yeah, not entirely sure why. She's gonna set it down on the ground. <laughs> That's great. Just leave it on the ground, thank you. So she went to sleep instead. So everybody's sleeping currently. Not like we're wasting food or anything. Yeah. So yeah, it's just ridiculous. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we don't really have any time left for today's episode. But I do feel like we got a lot done. Everybody's got beds now over here. We got babies. Mm -hmm. We got boxers. Yeah, just waiting for the the dogs to have a baby now. And it's interesting that they do spend so much time training them now. Laura's training to kill. You can go over to the little eyeball to see what level they are. Oops. I mean to switch there. Uh, we want to look at Kratos because he's been getting tamed for longer here. Well, level four. At level five is when you can control them. Okay. And not bonded with anybody just yet. Yeah, level five, the animal can be drafted and manually controlled in combat. I'd be worried they'd get killed, though. Or at least they'd get wounded, because, you know, they're melee fighters. It's not like you can put, like, a laser on their head or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs with laser weapons. Uh, so we finally got that finished. So I guess it means next episode we can start building the walls and the roof here. And, uh, you know, start getting it ready to be attached to the rest of the house. 
We'll have to get that that extension put in place. Uh, but yeah, we at least have the the battery sitting here being charged up. It's almost fully charged now, so I have plenty of power uh, once we do have uh, this completed. And what is Connor doing? Oh, he's coming back to do some cooking. I, I was see. about to say, is he going out there for ingredients? I think he went. He was scavenging, and then now he he's gonna go do some cooking. I thought he wanted the freshest of pies. Yes, this is gonna be a super fresh pie. He's gonna make just for Ember. Uh, spring must be coming. Chris is out there planting seeds. Oh, so we should probably change up our fields. Warm up. But yeah, we should probably change up our fields then now mm -hmm. and get this set up. Because again, I'm gonna decrease the size of this and then do some new fields. Uh, with some different crops. Uh, so we'll need to do that now, clearly, since uh, Chris is planting the fields. Hopefully I remember to do that next episode. We'll probably just forget. We'll just have nothing but the uh, the corn crop. Uh, but hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.